The Global Ocean Data Analysis Project is a synthesis project bringing together oceanographic data, featuring two major releases as of 2018. The central goal of GLODAP is to generate a global climatology of the world ocean's carbon cycle for use in studies of both its natural and anthropogenically forced states. GLODAP is funded by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the U.S. Department of Energy, and the National Science Foundation. The first GLODAP release V1 .1 was produced from data collected during the 1990s by research cruisers on the World Ocean Circulation Experiment, Joint Global Ocean Flux Study and Ocean Atmosphere Exchange Study programs. The second GLODAP release V2 extended the first using data from cruisers from 2000 2013. The data are available both as individual bottle data from sample sites and as interpolated fields on a standard longitude latitude depth grid. Topic: <laughs> Dataset The GLODAP 1.1 climatology contains analyzed fields of present day 1990s dissolved inorganic carbon DIC, alkalinity, carbon 14, 14C, CFC 11 and CFC 12. The fields consist of three dimensional, objectively analyzed global grids at 1 degree horizontal resolution, interpolated onto 33 standardized vertical intervals from the surface 0 meters to the abyssal seafloor 5500 meters. In terms of temporal resolution, the relative scarcity of the source data mean that unlike the World Ocean Atlas, averaged fields are only produced for the annual time scale. The GLODAP climatology is missing data in certain oceanic provinces including the Arctic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, the Mediterranean Sea and maritime Southeast Asia. Additionally, analysis has attempted to separate natural from anthropogenic DIC, to produce fields of pre-industrial DIC and present-day anthropogenic CO2. This separation allows estimation of the magnitude of the ocean sink for anthropogenic CO2, and is important for studies of phenomena such as ocean acidification. However, as anthropogenic DIC is chemically and physically identical to natural DIC, this separation is difficult. GLODAP used a mathematical technique known as C star to deconvolute anthropogenic from natural DIC there are a number of alternative methods. This uses information about ocean biogeochemistry and CO2 surface disequilibrium together with other ocean traces including carbon-14, CFC-11 and CFC-12 which indicate water mass age to try to separate out natural CO2 from that added during the ongoing anthropogenic transient. The technique is not straightforward and has associated errors, although it is gradually being refined to improve it. Its findings are generally supported by independent predictions made by dynamic models. The GLODAP 2 climatology largely repeats the earlier format, but makes use of the large number of observations of the ocean's carbon cycle made over the intervening period 2000 2013. The analyzed present day Fields in the resulting dataset are normalized to year 2002. Anthropogenic carbon was estimated in GLODAP 2 using a transit time distribution TTD method and approach using a Green's function. In addition to updated fields of DIC total and anthropogenic and alkalinity, GLODAP 2 includes fields of seawater pH and calcium carbonate saturation state omega omega. The latter is a non-dimensional number calculated by dividing the local carbonate ion concentration by the ambient saturation concentration for calcium carbonate for the biomineral polymorphs calcite and aragonite, and relates to an oceanographic property, the carbonate compensation depth. Values of this below 1 indicate undersaturation, and potential dissolution, while values above 1 indicate supersaturation, and relative stability. Topic Gallery. The following panels show sea surface concentrations of fields prepared by GLODAP 1.1. The pre-industrial is the 18th century, while 
present day is approximately the 1990s. The following panels show sea surface concentrations of fields prepared by GLODAPF2. The pre-industrial is the 18th century, while present day is normalized to 2002. Note that these properties are shown in mass units per kilogram of seawater rather than the volume units per cubic meter of seawater used in the GLODAPF 1.1 panels. See also Biological pump Continental shelf pump Geochemical ocean section study Joint global ocean flux study Ocean acidification Solubility pump World Ocean Atlas World Ocean Circulation Experiment <laughs>